Hey guys, J.R. Raymond back again. I'm at the training center in TurboTech in Chesterfield, Michigan. Today, I'm gonna to give you one of the biggest tips of your life, how to become more accurate. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. So we're going to teach you a little something today uh, based on accuracy and trying to become as more accurate and more and be able to repeat that as much as possible. So what most people do and most experts in other fields and other sports say is you need to narrow your target down as little as possible so that way you can focus on such a small target and be able to hit in that range a little bit easier. In bowling, I believe it's actually the opposite. I believe when you narrow it down to that little target, it actually tightens you up. And if you're tight and your swing is tight, your ability to make that shot is actually gonna be less than if you're free knowing you have a wider range of area. So what I've done here is at 15 board, our target's gonna be about 15 to say five board down lane. So what you wanna do is you wanna try to look at multiple boards. Rather than just looking at one, let's pick out three. So the middle one is going to be 15. That's what your base target's going to be. But you need to be okay with yourself if you hit 12, or if you hit 14, or if you hit 16. So you got to give yourself these two other boards, a three board spread there. All you have to do is try to get it close on the right angle. There's so many people who actually, they can, they can hit the same target over and over again in the front part of the lane. But when you look down lane, it's at a different spot because their angle is different. If you're having trouble hitting just uh, this three board area, then you need to take a look at your physical game and understand that there may be some type of problem before you get to the foul line that's causing inconsistencies with hitting a three board area. This shouldn't be very difficult to hit at all. So when we get down here, now we draw it from here all the way down to our break point here. Now I've got this down at 40 feet, same concept. You're not trying to hit a single thread. You wanna be able to hit a, a, a wide area down here. So you know if you get it from there to here within this range, it's still a pretty good shot and it's gonna be in the right zone. Your chances of striking are actually really, really good. So um, draw out three boards down here as well as in the front. When you get set up, you're looking at your target there. You're looking at a wider base, not just one board. Look at a board on each side of your actual target and be okay if you hit either one of those boards as well. And then draw it down here and do the same thing. Be okay with yourself if you hit either board on the outside of what your actual target is. You have to free your swing up and know that you have that. You're trying to create that room for error. If you have the right ball in your hand, you're gonna have this room for error easily. You may even have more than this. You might even be able to get it further right or further left than this and be able to still strike. So the idea is to free yourself up as much as possible to be able to create that straight angle from the front all the way down here to where you're trying to get the ball to go. If you can visualize and see that throughout your entire approach or even before you step on the approach, you're gonna make a better shot than if you just walk up and try to thread a needle uh, every single time. We've all been that person that at some point you know you need a shot and you tighten up and you're really focusing in on your target and you don't even come close to hitting your target because you've tightened up, you've put so much pressure on yourself. Take some of that pressure off yourself and give yourself an area rather than a single board to hit and you'll find yourself being a whole lot more successful. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, uh, please make sure to put them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them as quick as possible. Go over and subscribe to my page here. So just click the subscribe button down below. You can go over to Turbo 201 Grips page and subscribe to them as well. Some new videos from the World Series of Bowling is going to be coming out. I'll be posting some. They'll be posting some. It's going to be a good time. Uh, hoping to bowl well, maybe make a TV show so I can get on real TV and not just be uh, a YouTube guy. Uh, so until next time, guys, we will see you later.